Hey everyone, this is 3D Dave with a new video. And today's video is about uh, upgrading the Anet A8 hot end to a direct drive. Question, why would we do that? Isn't that a direct drive? Well, mine was a direct drive. Um, it was converted to Bowden. But since I have the CR10 Max, I don't need a Bowden anymore. And I tried to print flexible filament with the CR10 Max, but uh, well, it didn't work. And I had laying around a BMG clone and I was surfing on Thingiverse and found this. So basically what this is, is that's the back plate. Well, it goes like this. I already screwed on the, well, I don't know. This is how it, mo it, it moves. So uh, excuse me for my poor English. This is the holder. This is the BMG extruder clone, unfortunately. Um, I have a V6 clone mounted in here and I mounted all of this to a pancake stepper motor. Uh, the whole assembly goes like this. This is the fan, which is basically the original fan. Um, and this one is for a BL touch or something like that. Um, I don't have a BL touch or a 3D touch or whatever. Um, but I hope to have one uh, in the near future. How does it mount? Well, it mounts fairly easy, like this. Put in a few screws. And it's really, 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 really easy to assemble. Um, I do know that my screws are a little bit too long. Uh, I don't have any other hardware, so unfortunately. Um, and I think this is the, the cheapest solution. Um, the hot ends, which I will make uh, a video on later on, um, I bought for like, I think it was 8 euro on AliExpress for two. Um, they come with um, the cold end, the hot end, the thermistor, and the cartridge. So all of this is included in here. The nozzle is even included. It's pre-assembled, so uh, I have to test it yet. Like this. My... Oh, this is not going to be easy. Then nothing in life is, so. I did pre-assemble it. There it goes. They do attach to those little bolts, or actually the nuts I put in the back. And I think the whole $8 for this one, the stepper driver was, I think, 12, which makes 20. This one was 
I would have to guess, but it was also extremely cheap. Um, so I think this is an upgrade for, as it sits here, that's without uh, BL Touch or the clone. And I think I will pick up a clone, which is called 3D Touch. Um, and that's it. So the 3D Touch goes in here. Um, that's about it. That's the belt tensioner. Um, pretty easy. There it goes. Put the belt in here, put the belt back, and then this screw will tension the belt. As you can see, you can tension it, and then you can also tension it at the side. Well, that's how mine was set up. Um, this is the original one, I think we should move that in this direction somehow. Well, I have to see how the cables, uh, maybe I will turn it like this and then I can route my cables up here and have them come back. Don't know if that works. Let me see. And that might work. Only downside. This thing's way And that's without the 3D touch or the BL touch. So that's heavy. That's way heavier than my current setup. But I will try it and I'm probably going to keep my, my Enet A8 as a direct drive. So I have the CR10 Max which is currently live and um, is printing a 36 hour print. It prints large volumes, uh, many things. The last I'm printing right now, I think 12 or 13 parts. Um, I have an Elegoo Saturn on the way, so that will be for um, August and I will do a review on that. And I will keep the Anet as a direct drive for difficult filament. So that's it. Thank you for watching. If you liked it, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and uh, see you next time. Bye bye.